Hey guys, Lethal Predator back here with another video, so don't have my tripod, so I'll have to do this all with one hand. So, right here, got an AAP01, got it for my birthday. Go ahead and open it up. I have already opened it and removed the, oil, or the red tip and shot it a little bit, so I know some about it. Got the instruction manual, how to disassemble it and all that for that side. So you have the gun. It did have a 3D printed uh, red muzzle cap, I guess. And the white, it was very hard to take it off. What I found that worked, taking a hair dryer, put it to max heat and max uh, pressure or whatever. Glue it on there and took a screwdriver and kind of just broke it off. And the magazine, it's a 23 round mag, I'm pretty sure. I've been able to fit 25 rounds in it, but don't really recommend it. Of course, it takes green gas. And I'm going to show shooting of it. And I'll be using my Ace Tech. By frost. Let's show the FPS and all that. This is this is the green gas I'm using, Matrix. And to fill it up, you have to put the nozzle straight into there and make sure this is flipped upside down. It is. I had trouble filling it up. Just gotta learn the right way to put it in. And I'm going to be using 0.25 gram BBs. So, got it on semi auto 0.25 gram BBs. And I guess I didn't fill the mag up with gas enough. Okay, should be better. I guess it's counting the gas. Okay. I know it's... That is not accurate. I guess the BBs are going in and then rolling out. But in reality, it's getting about 300 to 320 FPS, and its rate of fire is about 23 rounds per second. And I'll show the full auto right now. And here's the full auto. And yes, it does run out of gas very fast. I still haven't mastered filling up the mags yet with uh, gas. It may just be the can, because I've been noticing gas has been coming out through right here instead of up here as well. So it may just be the cans. Not sure, but I'll try and figure it out. Anyone knows what could be causing that issue, make sure to comment down below in the description. And I will show the nighttime footage of the Bifrost Tracer with it. Also, before I do the nighttime shooting of it with the Bifrost, I do want to point out with mine, let me disassemble it real quick. Okay. You don't have to disassemble it to get to the hop up, but. I've got fat fingers, and it's hard to reach, so I needed to adjust the hop up. You basically get in here and push towards the barrel and roll it, and on the slide, you can kind of see it down in there, you roll it down. 
So it would be counterclockwise. And also noticed I had to put some silicon oil in there on top just to lube it and let it uh, cycle better because it was getting stuck at about this position sometimes or like that. But after you lube it and cycle it a few times, it runs perfectly fine. And also, disassemble it. There's this little button on the back. You just have to press it in really hard. Sometimes you gotta use two thumbs or two hands. Press it in. And it kind of rotates like that. Pop it up and just pull to separate it. And that's all you do, disassemble it. And full auto, you just pull the slide or bolt back. And right there, little tiny switch. And you over on the right is auto, left is semi. So that's that. Semi automatic. Full auto.